today's video, I am going to solve the problem using Bessel's interpolation formula. So, using Bessel's formula, so we have to find f of x at x is equal to 7. So, we have to find the value of x is equal to 7 from the following data. Here, the x values of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are given. And f of x is equal to, this is 5, 49, 181, 449 and 901. So, we have to find the value of x. For that, we have to find f of x value when x is equal to 7 using Bessel's interpolation formula. For that, first of all, we have to frame this forward difference table so as it's so easy that so this is 49 so this value is 5 so 49 minus 5 49 minus 5 is nothing but 44 so this value is 44 and 181 minus 49 so this is 181 minus 49 the value here is 132 so this is 132 and the next one from the lower one we have to subtract the upper one that is 449 minus this is 181 the value here is 268 and the next one this is 901 minus 449 the value here is 452 the next one here is 132 minus this is 44. The value here is 88. So, this value is nothing but 88. And the next one is 268 minus 132. The value here is 136. So, this value is 136. 452 minus 268. The value here is 184. And the next one here is this is 136 minus 88. The value here is 48. The next one is 184 minus this is 136. The value here is again 48. This is 48 minus 48. The value is 0. So, after finding this one, so we have to find the value of f of x when x is equal to 7. So, the nearest value to the 7 is a 6. So, I am taking this as x0. So, if I selected this one as x0, so, as it's a Bessel's for interpolation formula. So, Bessel's B, we have to start with B means by. So, we have to take two values at a time. Single value, next double, single and so on. So, here whereas in the Stirling's formula S, S for single. So, we have to take single value, double value, single value, double value. Please remember. So, the difference between Bessel's and Stirling's formula is that. So, B stands for by and S stands for single. See here, after that one, after that one. So, here X naught value is equal to 6 I have taken. What is the value to be found? So, X is equal to this is 7. So, this value is a 7. So, here P means the difference between x2 minus x1. 10 minus 8, the value here is 2. And for all these values, so we have a formula that x is equal to, this is x0 plus P into H. So, what is x value? x is equal to 7. What is x0 value? This is 6 and P. H means here this is the h value so h value is nothing but the difference here that is x2 minus x1 the h value is equal to 2 so here this is 2 this is a 7 minus 6 is equal to this is 2p 1 is equal to 2 into p and p value is equal to half half is nothing but this is 0 0.5 so we got the value of p as this is 0 0.5 so, after getting the p-value, so we have to find the Bessel's formula. So, what is this Bessel's formula? So, let me explain you the Bessel's formula here. So, first of all, Bessel's interpolation formula. Before going into that, so there is an easy trick here. So, here we have to start with 0 and this is 1. So, we have to write in a decreasing order. 0 after that, minus 1. So, this is minus 2. Here also, 0 1 0 this is minus 1 so in a decreasing order i am writing and in between i have to keep minus 1 easy easy to remember and the next one so we have to again remember this one this pattern 0 1 minus 1 so this is 2 minus 2 in between um, so friend we have to write half so in this case so we have to write 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 and again friend half 
so here also we have to take double values so single and double single and double so this is nothing but y this is delta y this is delta square y this will be delta q y and this is delta par 4 y so now see how i'll write the bessel's formula so bessel's interpolation formula i'm writing yp is equal to so these are y terms that is y naught plus y1 by 2 easy and the next one i'm taking this single value here so this is p minus half by 1 factorial into the next one here is delta so this is delta y minus 1 got it and the next one we have to leave this so we have to close this value so i'm closing this value see how to show this so again i'm closing this value and i'm taking these two values so this will be p minus 0 into this is p minus 1 by 2 factorial into so here delta square so delta square so we have to take again average delta square y minus 1 plus again this is delta square this is y naught by 2 easy and the next one again we have to open this one and we have to take three values that is half 0 1 see here so this will be this is p minus half this is p minus 0 this is p minus 1 after 2 factorial this will be 3 factorial and coming to this so this is nothing but cube so this is cube so this will be delta cube y minus 1 and the next one here again i have to close this half and take all these four values that is 1 minus 1 1 plus 1 minus 1 and plus 4 single double again triple and we have to again leave and we have to take all these four values so 0 1 minus 1 and 2 see here i'm writing so this will be p minus 0 so this is p minus 1 so this is p plus 1 again this is p minus 2 by 4 factorial into delta power coming to the delta power 4 we have to take these four values that is delta power 4 by this is minus 2 no need to remember just you have to write like this that is minus 1 by 2 plus and so on so this is how we have to write this Bessel's interpolation formula and now I am going to substitute all the values now I am going to substitute all the values here using this table so using this table now I am going to write so yp value is equal to y0 plus y1 by 2 so this will be y0 and this is y1 that is 181 plus 449 this is 181 plus 449 divided by 2. And the next value P minus half. What is our P value? See, we found that P value is nothing but. So, what is our P value? This is 0 0.5. So, our P value I am writing it as this is 0 0.5. Now, I am going to substitute this one. This is P minus half. So, P is again 0 0.5 half is nothing but 0 0.5 by 1 factorial into first difference value so what is our first difference value this is 268 so into 268 and the next one p minus 0 so what is our p value this is 0 0.5 minus 0 see here 0 0.5 minus 0 into next one 0 0.5 minus 1 by 2 into so here the bisected values so this is 136 plus 184 this is 136 plus 184 divided by 2 and the next one here we have to substitute here in the third value that is p minus half that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and the next one p minus 0 this is 0 0.5 minus 0 and here p minus 1 this is 0 0.5 minus 1 by 3 factorial is nothing but 6 into the delta q so after the double values we have to take the single value as 48 so this value is nothing but 48 so after this one what we have to take see here this value if you observe so this is nothing but 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 so this total value will be 0 and here also we have we got this one this value so if you observe this one 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 this is 0 so the total value will be 0 so what remains here so there is only 
few values left and this one is the first one that is 181 so this is 181 plus 449 divided by 2 the value here is 315 so this value is 315 and coming to this so positive and negative so negative into positive it is negative minus so if you observe this one this is 0 0.5 into so this is again 0 0.5 into the values here are this is 136 plus this is 184 divided by this is 2 into 2 so which is equal divided by 4 the value here is 20 so if you see this one this is 20 and yp value here is 315 minus 20 is nothing but 295 so y at 7 so we want the 7 value that is when x is equal to 7, we have to find the corresponding f of x value. So, f of 7 value is nothing but 295. So, this is how we have to solve and this is the way we have to proceed. And this is the easy way to remember the Bessel's formula. You can write by your own. The forward difference table is also so simple. We have to take the upper value from the lower value and we have to keep on um, calculating using the calci. And this is the process procedure to calculate the p value and this is the way to write the Bessel's formulae and after substituting we got the value as 295 so thank you so much for watching if you really like please pass it on to your friends please practice and definitely you can score more thank you so much